This was Friday night at Orlando International. The arrival level choked with traffic, many of the vehicles driven by Lyft and Uber drivers. West 2 News also watched as some of those rideshare drivers were picking up passengers outside the two designated areas. It's a mess. Well, if it's like before 8 o'clock, it's usually a madhouse. It's pretty crazy at night. An Uber spokesman blames the airport for giving them too little space to operate, creating some of the longest wait times among major airports. Would you agree with that? No, I, I wouldn't. I hate to call it a mess. I think I, I would rather call it organized chaos. Tom Draper, the head of airport operations, tells me there would be less chaos if rideshare dispatchers would wait to dispatch drivers until passengers have bags in hand at the curb. So I think that's one thing that we need to address and we'll get with the rideshare folks and continue to keep doing that. Drivers complain the airport's rideshare waiting lot is a big part of the problem. Uh, the waiting lot is too small. It's, uh, it's very bad there. Here it is in the middle of a Monday, not very busy at the terminal at all, and they're so full they have people parking along the curbs. Frequent flyers who see how rideshare works at other airports say it works best when Uber and Lyft have their own areas away from the arrival level. Kind of like cross the street a little bit, like away from the direct drop off lane and pickup lane um, and wait for the car there. Airport officials offered Uber and Lyft the ground level with taxis and shuttles, but the companies refused, claiming they did not want to share their driver's personal e-pass and SunPass information with the airport. At least for this holiday week, passengers will deal with the system the way it is. At Orlando International, Greg Fox, Washington News. Uber released this response saying Uber is working with Orlando International to help make the pickup experience at the airport as convenient and reliable as possible for riders and drivers. They go on to say we are hopeful that we will see progress on these issues soon. And this message from Lyft tonight, we have not heard of any challenges with pickup and drop off experience at the airport, but are open to continuing to work on the best solutions for riders and drivers.